Poland in the red and white serving, Dominican Republic in the blue and red receiving. This the gold medal match from the FIVB World Grand Prix Group 2 final here in Varna, Bulgaria. And first point goes to Dominican Republic with their side out. And that sends Vargas back to serve the big middle blocker. And now Vargas for Dominican. Raymond just with a continuation, and now Manbrut the opposite. With a brutish hit, but Poland equal to it. Raymond with a second attempt is denied by Dela Cruz. Hitting that one plumb into the block. Exploits it, and Dominican Republic off to a great start here. That's off the block and out, is it? Yes. So Poland on the board. One three. Kramer for Poland. Raymond with the serve. This has to go over. Martinez with that third touch. Topshire into the action. With a positive hit. Too low, too far inside. Konkowewska was all over it. Draymond. Good serving run this from Draymond. Poland now back level. Oh, he hit that back into the block. Oh, somehow kept in play. What a dig that was from Fernandez. Well, There's going to be a challenge, though. Or is there? It looked, I thought the buzzer went for a challenge by Poland to see if the ball hit the floor, but I don't think you can challenge up or down. That was down. There was no end whistle though, was there, after the rally finished. Probably just my hearing. Dela Cruz puts it away. Swing from Muha. And now Showing why she's uh, got the nod Poland. over Grebo, number 15 today. Konkoweska.
Della Cruz gets block out, does she? Yes, she does. Konkowewska committed to the floor, couldn't get up again, unless she'd have tried to do the uh, little bit of break dancing, maybe. is world class. She was voted the uh, MVP at the uh, World Junior Championships in her age group category. It was under 22s, under 21s, but uh, definitely an outstanding player. and one, born on the 11th of September, 1996. The ball is out. So still only 19 years of age. And six, seven. Seven, six. Low. Somehow, well, there's Vargas. Well, there's kept it in play. And Mambrou makes the block. Mambrou with the serve. Ace for Mambrou, courtesy of the net. There's not real any flow to her jump serve, Mambrou. She just goes up, jumps, and then just lumps it, gets her arm through the ball. Not any real recognition of how the chains are working, especially with her feet. She probably loses power as well with the way her feet plant and go up into the air, which is quite a scary thought she to get those right. With a glimpse of that ball catching the top of the tape. block somehow scrambled over well it's gone straight into Martinez's face and down her own side somehow I guess thought it was uh, Dominican Republic's point, I have to think again, that's right into the schnoz of Martinez. Bring tears to your eyes, that will. Martinez is tall. Konkovska is also tall. 
And Konkorevska wins this battle. Crikey, just with their hands, with their feet on the floor, hands are way above the net, aren't they? This time Martinez goes down the line over the top of the setter, which is the best place to go really over Vos. So she's a lot shorter. Martinez, Martinez with the serve. Nothing to separate the teams at the moment. Top swing, great dig. Denajic it was who made the dig. But it's an unforced error from Poland to give Dominican Republic the point. What a dig that was from Denajic from Mambru Spike. from Tom So Poland serving over a screen. It's an unforced error in attack. Tom Shet over cutting the ball. Tom Shet this time through position four, making no mistake. Nothing much Marta could do about that. Ava Mayer getting that tip ball past uh, Konka Webska somehow. Martine to serve. Mambrou into the front row. Mambrou gets the block out and Dominican Republic open up a little bit of space between themselves and Poland. A two point margin. shot from Luha. Classic four hitting. Showed the cross over the shoulder onto the line. Good up. Cruz to serve. Good covering by Marta.
Oh dear. Not such a great set though. Touch Marta, I think it did. She's trying to make out that it didn't. But it touched Martinez, didn't it? Not Marta. Really good dig from Grayman. The ball too low to the middle, and even Mayer doesn't find the sideline, and Poland have gone in front now. Oh, big swing this time, that's much better. Stopping that one. Okay. So, the technical timeout, and it's Poland who have their noses in front. Clever play. Morosh over on two. Poland extend their lead. So it's Poland taking charge of this first set. with the serve. Not one to be remembered. Substitution 
Cash check number three out and number 50, Griber in. So Griber in, Ganshik goes to the bench, Griber coming in to serve. Tip works from Mambrook, even all the way from the back row. Seventeen, nineteen, new substitution for Poland. Substitution for Dominican Republic. Number Player defending at five. Out, number six. It wasn't ready. Seven. Out, number twelve. In. For Poland. Number fifteen. Out. And three. In. Dominguez comes in. So two does. Angelis, number 12 for the Dominican Republic. Bit of height at the net. And now Martinez serves. As Marta goes to the bench. Along with Mambrou. It was top shell from the The ball was out. But all in vain, really. Poland get their side out. And Volos. Kowash to serve. Again, serving over a screen. Everyone tightly packed over on that side of the court. It's so obvious. And yet not being called. You've got three players stood at the net. Two right behind them and the server at the very back of that. As Dominguez throws the ball up with a double touch. Timeout does its job for the Dominican Republic. Substitution Dominican. Number one, Vargas. Out. And for someone, number four, gets Cruz only with the tip. Another chance here for Puerto Rico. The Dominican Republic, I should say, as that one goes wide. That'll be hashtag drinking game, won't it? Wrong team. Puerto Rico were in action earlier against Bulgaria. So Poland then. Three away from taking this opening set. Kramer with the serve. Oh, I had to turn a spike into a block. The set going over the net. De La Cruz heading in to spike it, ending up having to block it. So the double sub be in reverse because Dominguez having a bit of a shocker. Any trouble when you don't complete the double sub. There's no setter on court at the moment for the Dominican Republic. Not that it matters much. Kela Cruz able to put that one away down the line. Uh, Dominican Republic creep a little closer. Marta has come in now. This is the first and Poland call the timeout. And now Marte. Oh, 
back swing from Tom Shep. Martinez unable to handle it. Free ball for the Dominican Republic. That might stay in. It does stay in. Good work from Fernandez. And Martinez. Free ball back now for Poland. Oh dear. Oh dear. Complete mix up. What's Tom Shad doing? That's Griman's ball. She's the. Swing hitter, the passer. Oh, should be then releasing Tom Shea to go and have a swing. Well, good work, good hustle from the Dominican Republic. And they're keeping themselves in this. Well, they were. It's set point now. is denied Poland take the first set 25-21 Dominican Republic have to go back to the drawing board errors Second the stats aren't quite up to date are they because they don't give her 25 points Changes for either side ahead of the second set. <laughs> Tom Schert with a belter. Good start for Poland. Getting better and better. Republic. Ball in from Durajic. Nice work by Mua getting under that ball. And Tom, she does the rest, getting it off the block and out of play. Nice ball up from Voj. And Tom Shea did the rest. Groman now with the serve. Just a little too much on that one. 
And Poland using their Libros as a defensive Libro and a passing Libro. Dorajek, the passing Libro. And Zawiczka is the defensive Libro. It's just a way of giving them both some court time, really. Can't believe you have a Libro who can pass but can't defend, or a Libro who can defend but can't pass. Pretty sure they can both do the same in equal measure. Maybe it's just down to the stats. Marta unable to stop that one. Poland leading 4-2. Kowalski with the serve. Oh, a great serve. Heading for that sideline. Martinez didn't move her feet. Good call from the referee, massive carry as the ball was played into the block and then it stayed in the hand of Muha. Watch this, stays in, she just throws it off of the block and out. It's volleyball, not throw ball. This time Muha does it right. And 6-3 up. Dominican Republic looking a little deflated. Nobody touched it. And didn't find the baseline. Slightly ahead of Mambru. Oh, that looked close. Not the lines. Judge says no. Video challenge. Oh, there's going to be a video challenge. In out ball. Oh, I think that might be in actually, because it's the impact as it squishes down on the floor when it lands. From that angle, it looked like it caught the line, didn't it? Yes, if you're a Polish fan. No, if you're a Dominican Republic fan, obviously. Looked in, is in. And the challenge was successful. So we head to the technical timeouts. Poland up. Polish fans happy. This time, Mambru gets it right. Against it going the wrong way. Oh. 
Well, Tom should try to do the same. However, Dominican Republic middle blocker didn't move at all. Vargas again. Lovely, when that ball goes in like that, the speed of the attack out wide is definitely more than the Dominican Republic can handle. up from Martinez and from Muha Tom Shia. oh great dig and again quality rally this one chance now maybe for Poland goes back to Tom Shia. this time Marta keeps it, it was Mambru keeps it off the floor Muha off the floor with the ball as well it's not Roll Sock City this, this is some hard hits coming in, great defence. Although that roll shot just seemed to cause too many problems and then Tom should stop playing. OK, it wasn't a great dig but she was worried about it. That was a rookie mistake from Tom Shea. That's a simple roll but look at it, she's all upset and then the ball is rolled to a position where she should have been playing and covering. Just compounding matters, Dominican Republic take the point. Couple of carries, second one got called. and looking like they want to make this second set a bit interesting, don't they? Not quite getting the same rhythm they had in the first. Well, that'll be a double. No? OK, play on. And Poland do exactly what they needed to play to the whistle. Great block out from um, Grayman. Walsh to serve. Konkowewska drifting out, drifted past the point of impact and then couldn't stop herself. So what was an easy tip ball that she's still running away from. Another big hit from Poland. Four point lead restored. Oh, huge block from Rua on Mambru. Super blocking from Poland. Who are taking away the line. Well worth a high five. Timeout called by Dominican Republic.
Well, Poland have served very well, haven't they, to disrupt what the Dominican Republic are trying to do, forcing them into out of system situations. And being out of system, I mean, there's, there's not all options available. Martinez, though, gets the job done through four. dig on to your eye check a lot of perspiration had built up on the board during the course of that rally and Forsh was the victim of it Public have a passing middle blocker in the form of Weber. So Mambrou has gone off to be replaced by Fernandez. Often it's the middle blockers who go off for the Libro, but not for Dominican Republic, as they replace their opposite, which does mean that they don't have that firepower as such. If anything, it'll be Weber uh, coming through. And again, goodness me, Voj with another double touch on oh, her setting. On Might come back. Oh, that was unlucky. Borosh getting something on it, but it just wouldn't carry over the net. Vargas with the swing. A couple of rebounds as it pinballed around the Polish defence. Again, busy watching, trying to be an innocent bystander, but there's no such thing as that on court. So a couple of errors from Poland. The Dominican Republic are back in this one. Time out. Hold on. This is the first time. Poland called the timeout. And 
into the timeout. Stays hit, doesn't it, when Tom Shed gets hold of it? 16 second technical time. So he hit the tech and second technical timeout. And Poland have got themselves another gap, albeit two points. with the serve for Poland. Well watched by Dirac by Savitska. Not oh, I check she's off court for the moment. The the However, the quick ball through the middle. Gets the job done for the Dominican Republic. They move back to within a point. So the final third of the second set is where it all counts now for both tides. Errors could be costly. Single point. Dela Cruz was just out waiting. And 16 all. Waiting for Genshik to slide towards her, which she did. Marta. Dominican Republic were looking for block out, didn't get it. Now Poland in a really good position. They can carry on with their side out game, pick a couple of points up perhaps from from service. They could well end up two nothing up here. bit of a throw from Martinez, gets away with it. Kowalska will be a little disappointed she didn't keep it from coming over. for Poland, did I check? She's trying to uh, keep the spirits high. Substitution for Poland, and now uh, Kalishuk coming in to serve. Now she's going to come in and do some blocking, actually. 
despite the heavy brace on her knee due to some ligament damage. It's only been seen in serving and backcourt duty up to now. Oh, brilliant. That might still come back, but it's outside the antenna. Shevishka colliding with Muha. They're in a good position. And they've let it slip. Tom Shea is a little hit and miss. There's going to be a video challenge, though. I think whether or not there is a net touch. No, uh, there wasn't. So it's the Dominican Republic who've turned things around in this second set. They hit the 20 point mark first. Excellent blocking. Vargas coming into the picture late. And now Poland called timeout. Timeout brings about the error for the Dominican Republic. Substitution and the momentum perhaps has swung back Poland's way. Kalishuk staying on court, coming back to serve. Man Bruce back in for the Dominican Republic. Republic who win the rally. Bosch ran to it but wanted to go into set and everyone's thinking she perhaps might play it. Manpru with the jump serve. Oh, 
And it's a wild one. Polish Bents shouting encouragement to the team. Konkoweska's yeah, got a really good float serve as we've witnessed throughout this match. That one a little higher than usual. A little bit of safety built in, you feel. And what an angle that is from Martinez. Mua did well not to get hit in the head. Good leave by Moore. That one was a close to landing in. Smashing coming in first action for her in the match since the warm up. Is she ready? Yes, she is. Ball's in play. And it's going to be point for Poland as the ball is overpassed. An inspired substitution, perhaps, by Jacek Nawrowski. Smashik needs to back it up with a ball that comes in now from her serve. And not before a timeout's called. Chance here for Poland. Smarzek first swing, and she gets it. Poland now have set point. That's what it means to the team. Oh dear. Well, Poland in with a great opportunity now. Smajic's going to go off. Tomsia coming in for Sola going on. And uh, Marta going out. Penyak going in. Vargas coming out. It's all change. So the situation remains the same. Not so much as Poland, just need a side out here. But it's uh, an awkward rotation. Borges is at four. She's got to run all the way across to position two to get to be able to set up the attack. Only two front court attackers. Hoisted high. Muha for the set. She gets it high. Dominican Republic in a bit of bother here. Free ball back over. Martinez has clattered into one of her teammates. And Tomsia hammers it down on the back attack. And Poland take the second set. They lead 2-0 here in Varna. Big hit from Tomsia.
So even though Poland won the set, they've only managed to get 24 points on the stats. And the other point coming from the other side, was it? So it's the nine, so they're 25. So it's just the one extra in errors. Quite high in terms of error rates. And both teams, they'll be looking to try and reduce those as much as they can. Poland then on the verge of winning the F5EB World Grand Prix Group 2. They need one more set. They have two in the bag. Dominican Republic yet to take a set. Bowash with the serve. That one not coming off the block. That one's come off the forehead Spike. of the middle blocker for the Dominican Republic. Eva Mayer couldn't do much about it once, hit her on the head. taken out and Peña coming in in her place Tosha again unloading Tosha again 3-2 was the leading point scorer for Poland in their last game that got them to this final the 25 point haul 21 from attack three blocks and one service point she's scoring well again very well in this game nice just what you want from the middle blockers a simple sensible high ball the way they're facing to let the outside hitter or opposite player have a swing and Muha has done exactly that Same hit from Dela Cruz. Poland's block not set, not set properly. Martinez. Nice swing. You just wonder how long Martinez will stay in the Dominican Republic. The entire squad play their volleyball. But the lure of big money elsewhere in the world may well see her go play perhaps in Italy or Turkey or somewhere. Yeah, 
Martinez, Dominicana. Nice pass from Binet. But, uh, not the best of hits from Ava Mayer. Actually drifted away from where Poland's middle block was and hit back into it. Kenshik takes the point. And Poland take the lead. Nice up from Martinez. Puts it down, but great work again from Genshik in the middle, holding the Dominican Republic's quick hitter, allowing that space for the outside for Muha to exploit. And Martinez comes up, trumps. Backcourt pipe taking over as the power hitter from Mambrou, who's on the bench. Cruz again just makes it look so easy at times. Oh, what a serve that was from Eva Mayer. Change of angle, Tom Shear was set up for the cross court and able to feed that one down the line. Well, Fernandez couldn't handle it. And is in there to pass. Well, that was too easy. That was a warm-up hit for De La Cruz. All the lines she wanted. Dominican Republic this is the first time. having the lead, courtesy of that error from Tom Shear. Nice from Poland. Tom Scher, who had previously made the, the error, is given the ball again straight away. And she makes no mistake that time. 
Called against Poland. Excellent blocking from the Dominican Republic. And again, but it's a net touch against. Vargas, who doesn't complain. Great dig. And Martinez coming in on a little combination play inside, just over the top of the eight. No chance for Poland. So Graham's come back in. Kelchuk to the bench. Oh, what an introduction for Grayman. And she makes the block. Poland get back to within a point. Dela Cruz. And from Martinez. And Tom Scher hammers it home. And Poland are back level. Excellent hustle on both sides, but it's Poland who got themselves into a better position eventually. And then Tom Scher able to come in and get that through Ava Meyer's hands somehow. Kreiman to serve. Well, just as soon as the first bracing has been cleared. A tame hit from Martinez, that could be punished, but cross court's the only option, but does it matter? Yes, it does. It was an angle that was running away from Tom Shet. Didn't try to go block out, tried to find the angle, couldn't. So Dominican Republic back in front, Peña now to serve. Great up from Griman. But Muha with the error. Dominican Republic now two in front. This one's just kind of ebbing and flowing backwards and forwards, isn't it, between the two teams?
Yeah, Moha doesn't really like to go line, does she? Everything's cross-court with her. Konkoweska makes the block. Poland were trying to make a substitution. It doesn't matter now, does it? They got what they wanted, which was the ball back. For a touch, not being given. I think there'll be a challenge coming as to whether or not one of the Polish blockers got a finger on the ball as it went long. Nevrotsky looking on, so to Marcus Kwiek. Dominican Republic were pretty sure that it touched somebody. Indeed it did. A little finger. So the score now is 16-13 for the Dominican Republic and that means we hit the second technical timeout. You've got to get your blocking spot on against Tumshia. If you don't, she'll be able to get block out pretty much anywhere she wants. She hits it so hard. Again, Della Cruz given the line and then Tomshia not committing to defending it because Poland are blocking cross court. That was a chance for Tom Ship. Over Mayo now for the Dominican Republic. Vargas not closing cross. down the cross court. Even though that's pretty much all Moore likes to hit. So oh. well back to within a couple. Have they got what it takes to get themselves level and ultimately in front? Vosch being abused by Dela Cruz. 
And she gets the block out. This is Mante for Dominicana. Foot fault from Tom Shirt, the backcourt player, stepping onto the line, or stepping way over the line. So a change for Poland. Zuzana Epimienko is in. Oh dear, well, slide behinds are not that easy to do. Epimienko has been on the bench the whole game and she comes in and then has to hit one. And wafts at thin air. Final and call the timeout. The second time out. A serve from Marta. And it's looking like Dominican Republic are going to take this third set, keep themselves in this match. Just four more points required. They've done it again. Two in a row. Mart is now on a hat trick. And so Jacek Navrotsky is giving up this set and he's taking off his first six, giving them a rest, getting ready for set number four. Double touch called against the Dominican Republic. Still not over just yet, as far as Poland are concerned. Maybe they can try and rustle something up. We'll see what uh, Efimienko has to offer from serve. Martinez hitting that ball only just above the height of the net. Dominican Republic yet to call any timeouts. Ireland have used all of theirs and they only have two subs left. Spanjic had a good serving run in the last set. Two serves, a swing, and then she put the next serve in the net. 
fact, it's not. As Vargas puts that ball down on the A quick, Dominican Republic now have set point. Very good serve from Fasola. And now the Dominican Republic are going to have a swing for the set. Martinez didn't have a good enough angle to have that swing. Tomšia is on the bench, and so it's Smarjak who gets this nod and has the swing through 10 and saves the first set point. But it's all over. Craven cannot find a serve that goes in. And so Dominican Republic take the third set, 25-18. So Poland scoring 26 points in that for those stats. And 12 points from their opponents, 10 attacks and four blocks. Soon the fourth set will start. They do say there's lies, damn lies and statistics. I think that's uh, proving itself. So the Dominican Republic then keeping themselves in this match, taking that third set, trailing by two sets to one. Now we Dela Cruz to get things underway. Dela Cruz for Dominicana. Played on the side of Poland, according to the referee. Kukowska, yes, waiting for it to be on her own side. Excellent blocking. 
Graeman will serve now for Poland. the block or did it yes it did so Vargas to serve for Dominican Republic Goweska puts that one away she hasn't had many swings through the middle primarily being used as a blocker up the overpass. So Martinez hammers that away. Dominican Republic leading three to two. Nothing really this spark this set into life at the moment. Muha left it, thought it might have been going out. Greenland could see it was going to land in. That was a very good serve, wasn't it? Poland offering a high line and pass. And it's being punished. But if you're going to offer a high line when you're passing, and that serve's coming from way back by the advertising hoardings, you want to think about volleying it. But with the net being a little bit lower for the women, it's a little bit difficult. Well, Dominican Republic not happy with that call of attacking the ball on the other side. I don't think there was any touch from Martinez. Did she touch it? No, she didn't. She just touched the hands of uh, Bowash. But is that class as interference anyway, stopping the set from happening effectively? <laughs> Lovely angle from Martinez. acting as a middle blocker didn't quite close the gap well, the ball's been given out Poland are going to challenge for a touch Muha convinced she heard one. Oh yes, it definitely did. So Lisa Evermeyer, number three, the middle blocker, wasn't it, who touched the ball. Video challenge team just confirming that. Scores four, six. 
So instead of being 7-3, it's now 4-6. Well, that's always worth a challenge. Ball into the net. It's been proven now the challenge is coming that nine times out of ten that catches somebody's Memphis arms. Seven, that pilot are not going to challenge it. I would. Evan, well, I think that might have caught a piss of uh, Evan Mayer. Technical timeout of this fourth set. Dominican Republic leading by four, trailing by two sets to one. Lovely work. Dominican Republic increasing their lead. Time timeout called by Poland as they see that this set may well be slipping away from them at this early stage. And a cruise again with that line shot that no one's getting on to. Timeout hasn't helped. And Edith again. Substitution for before. Number three, this is Garcic out in 16, Cabrilla in. Good dig. Well, it's still in play. Martinez can only tip now. Maybe a chance here. Tom Shep with a belter, but she's gone long. They think that might have gone in. Indeed, the referee has overruled it.
Well, that's going to be a challenge. See whether or not that ball's impacted on the line. Yes, it looks like it has. So it will be Poland who will have the serve. Averiwa with the serve. Oh, it's a lovely serve from Havariwa. Magdalena Havariwa, middle blocker. Decent server. by Marta and Poland back in it Trouble. So a five point lead now for the Dominican Republic. Again, Tom Shaw, the only player with the ability to really force the issue at the moment. But then in part, that's because the passing's not great. She's the outlet. Everyone hoping she'll put the ball away when she gets it. But if it carries on like this, we're going to head into a decider fifth set, aren't we? Republic just mixing it up a little bit. Tip ball working this time. showing she can hit hard through two and she gets to serve excellent block from Muha is this turning back in Poland's favour Maybe not. Oh. 
Well, then again, maybe it is. Dominican Republic aren't exactly running away with this set, even though they have the lead. That's more like it, Martinez over the top. That's all she needs is a high, wide ball. There's very few blockers will get near her. Hevriwa gets that. Off of the hands of Fernandez. Smarjek back in again. Oh, just crept over. Net touch against Poland. Mulhar it was who touched it. So he hit the second technical timeout. Dominican Republic leading by four points, but trailing still. Two sets to one down. What is a must win set for them? One hasn't made the sideline. So it's Poland who come back with a point off of the technical. Oh, I knew as soon as she hit that, it was going long. Touch is given. Poland get the side out straight away. But Dominican Republic, as long as they keep the scoreboard ticking over, they'll be pretty happy with it. They're likely to take the set. Everywhere to serve. That one is a poor set from Marta. She's struggling a little. Her oh. consistency is gone. So just two in it now. There was some serious strapping on her hitting hand. It's less than it was yesterday. It looked like she had a glove on, as in a boxing glove of white tape. So Adela Cruz buries that one cross court. Despite the best efforts 
Kukoviska in the block. She's just left the cross court open. Smarshek gets the job done from the backcourt 10 position. Got into position nice and early, give herself a good run up. Smarshek now into the front row, it's a big front row isn't it, with the exception of Craven. Can't stop Dela Cruz though. by Grayman. Konkowewska through the middle, but she doesn't get enough on it for a tall girl. She doesn't jump very high. Very little arm swing. Almost just a slap on the ball, really. There's, yeah, almost served that one out. Well, she did serve it out. Time out called by Poland. Lovely swing from Smajek. The pilot needs to make something happen from the serving line. At the moment, Dominican Republic have been able to side out too easily. Do it again through Martinez. Number one, Vargas goes out and for solo number four. In. And she will serve. That's better. Kukowska with a proper hit through the middle. Smarzek denies Martinez. Well, it's getting interesting now. Great reach from Smarzek. the side out. Martinez gets it for the Dominican Republic. And 
They're just doing enough at the moment, aren't they, to probably see this set out. Marshak has been having good serving runs. She'll hope to score at least a point here if she can. The area of traffic down right in front of her, which she goes towards. Well, nothing but eyes on the ball for Schmarzek. I think she's hurt herself now. She's doing her best not to show it, because those advertising hoardings are heavy. Public have their side out. Two away from setting this to a decider. One away from sending it to a decider. Set point for the Dominican Republic. So the set goes to the Dominican Republic, 25-20. We're all square. That means we're heading into a decider. the Puerto Rican players enjoying some of the music. So now it's a race to 15. There's no technical timeouts. There's a change of ends and one team makes it to eight first. 
coaches have still got their timeouts and substitutions. Poland will have the serve. Poporewa with the ball. Martadine to play the ball on the side of the Dominican Republic. First point then to Poland. Mavrio has serve again. Oh, Benya gets that one cross court, beating Muha and Havriwa. Time as well from Draymond. She was up early and waiting for the ball. That's in. Neither team showing any kind of nerves in this deciding set. Both of them working hard on side out. There's a chance here for the Dominican Republic. Oh, brilliant pickup. But it comes to nothing. Gosh, it was who got across to keep the ball off the floor. That reach outside of the body line that took it away from the defenders that were waiting to play the ball. Once it hit her in the hands, no reaction. Unfortunately for her, didn't bring it back into play. not taking their chances and Dominican Republic taking theirs putting them 5-3 up now Martinez the difference maybe Peña with the serve well that is primarily what she's there for Konkowska is a great blocker not such a good hitter Great server. I mean, look at that. If you get that high, just going up on your tiptoes, you should be there or thereabouts on everything. Oh, 
Martínez. Yeah. Martínez, the go-to player. Nice pick. Oh, good shot from Dela Cruz. Well dealt with. Oh, in the right place. And Tom Shore it will be. He'll get the point. Ireland back to within a point. And five, six. Ella Cruz, hardest hit from her so far. That was ferocious. the point you don't get two for hitting it hard you just got to make sure it lands in court or it goes off of a player and out of court She's got all the shots, hasn't she, Dela Cruz? Lovely over the shoulder to the line. That's a classic four hit. Teams now changing ends. Dominican Republic getting to eight points first. And it's straight on to court, straight on into the action. The only delay will be in the admin, if there is any. ready to serve. Thumping hits from Tom Shep. And despite it being dug, it was no way that anyone else was going to get it afterwards. Substitution was called, not going to be made. So there's going to be a yellow card time delay for Poland. Yellow the substitution card. too late. Delay. Warning delay. Oh, what a recovery that is from Binet. Block out from Dominican Republic, and that point is all thanks to the Libero, who chased down what looked like a lost cause. Magnificent. And then Dela Cruz goes block out off Groman.
Raymond comes back, gets it off Dela Cruz and out of play. After the wonderful play from Binet, she's outdone by a really tough serve from Voas. Poland have levelled. Desperate effort from Poland to keep it off the floor. But it's Peña who has the swing and wraps it into the hands of Poland and out of play. And the lead goes back to the Dominican Republic. Vargas off, Vasola coming in to serve. Fasano nearly left that. Pena did well to get something on it. And it's Poland who take the point. And it is going point for point at the moment. And we're getting to the business end now. This is only a race to 15. Still very much anybody's game. First two sets went to Poland, second two sets went to the Dominican Republic. What is going to separate these two teams? Martinez slowed down, nice controlled blocking from Tom Shirt. And yeah, can't find a way through. Binet covers that one. Oh, and it's the tip ball that does it. Well, that's worked really hard for that, didn't they? The Dominican Republic. They get the point in the end, though. Substitution, Dominicana. Martina, seven goes out. A blocking substitution. Gonzalez, in. Gonzalez is in. A little bit of height at the net. Gonzalez, David Mayer, Martinez, going to try and stop Poland from getting through. Peña with the serve. Well, they have stopped Poland from getting through. Eva Mayer it is, who makes the block. There'll be a timeout coming from Poland, that's for sure. Two points down. And it's the Dominican Republic who move into the driving seat. But for how long? Peña's got to get back into court. We're busy watching her serve. Oh, lovely play. Martinez gets block out. And a big scream from her. 13, big point, three clear now. And they're two away from victory. And Poland call another timeout. Pretty simple for the Dominican Republic. Peña's going to go back. 
and look to put that ball in play and put the pressure on Poland again. They need their side out. Well, they need it now. at stake who's going to have their hands on it lovely serve from Benya and the overpass put away from Martinez this is a brilliant serving run from Benya and the Dominican Republic now have match point one big serve required at the very least, one serve that goes in. Ooh, too much, but you can forgive her for that. She's put her country into a brilliant position now that requires them to make one side out. And they've got three goes to do it, to win the FIVB Volleyball World Grand Prix Group 2. Dominican Republic have called the timeout. Timeout, Dominica. First time out. Let's wonder whether they're saying something as simple as one good pass, one good set, one good hit. needs to be ruthless with her serving she can't give the Dominican Republic any gifts you've got to make it difficult for them but she's match point down and it's a foot fault goodness me Konkovesca with a foot fault and the point goes to the Dominican Republic the game's over and it's the Dominican Republic who take gold here in Varna. They have won the FIVB Volleyball World Grand Prix Group 2. And with it, they will be going to the top tier. They'll be going to Group 1 next season.